Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Sky News understands that the Labour MP Keith Vaz is to stand aside as chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee following allegations that he paid for sex with two male prostitutes and offered to pay for a Class A drug. He says he's referring the claims to his solicitor and will inform the committee on Tuesday of his plans. Our senior political correspondent Sophie Ridge reports. This is the first panel in the committee's new inquiry into prostitution. Keith Vaz, veteran Labour MP and chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee for the last nine years. On Sunday morning, it emerged the man chairing an inquiry into prostitution law allegedly paid for sex himself. According to the Sunday Mirror, Keith Vaz paid for two male escorts to visit him at a flat he owned in London, where he also allegedly discussed using the drug poppers. In a statement to Sky News, Mr Vaz said, it is deeply disturbing that a national newspaper should have paid individuals to have acted in this way. I have referred these allegations to my solicitor, Mark Stevens of Howard Kennedy, who will consider them carefully and advise me accordingly. At this time, I do not want there to be any distraction from the important work the Home Affairs Select Committee undertakes so well. I will, of course, inform committee members first of my plans when we meet on Tuesday. For a man so often in television studios, Keith Vaz is now, understandably, keeping a low profile. It was left to other MPs, trapped in the Sunday interview circuit, to answer questions. You know, I've known Keith for over 30 years. I think this must be a dreadful time for him and his family, his wife and his two children, and I'd rather not comment. Keith Vaz, as I understand it, has said that he will stand aside from the chairmanship of the Select Committee. And given the areas for which the committee is responsible, that does seem to me to be a sensible course of action. Off to buy their Sunday papers, how did people react in Keith Vaz's Leicester constituency? I don't know whether he should leave his position or not, because if, if he was doing his good job, then I think he should remain. People are more interested in whatever services they want from uh, MPs. So what they're doing behind closed doors is probably not so relevant. MPs return to Parliament on Monday, fresh from their summer holidays, but Keith Vaz may decide to extend his. The chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee may not have done anything illegal, but allegedly paying for sex and using poppers does present a potential conflict of interest. Keith Vaz opposed government attempts to criminalise the drug. A bit of a shock for me in my 20 years, 28 years in this house, that the shadow minister says uh, ministers have been to the dispatch box having had poppers. I think that's what she said. Um, <laughs> something of a, of a great surprise, I think, to uh, those of us in the house. Married with two children, Keith Vowers is Parliament's longest serving Asian MP. He's considering his position as chair of the Home Affairs Committee while he speaks to his lawyer. Sophie Ridge, Sky News, Westminster. And Sophie joins us live now from Westminster. Sophie, understandably keeping a very low profile today and we're not clear of what the reaction of the committee is going to be on Tuesday, are we? We're not uh, clear what the uh, committee reaction will be and we're not also clear what Keith Vance is likely to say to the Home Affairs Select Committee. It's something that he's chaired for the last nine years. It's clearly a very big part of his image of himself uh, as a Member of Parliament. So I think it will be very interesting to see how he decides to handle it. Uh, originally today there were reports uh, saying that he had already decided uh, to stand aside. We at Sky News spoke to other members of the Home Affairs Select Committee who were intimating as well uh, that he would would temporarily stand aside before working out what the best thing was to do. Now, there has been a slight shift in tone from uh, Keith Vaz's office. I spoke to a member of his staff uh, quite recently who said that the first will know about whether or not he is going to stay on as the chair of the Home Affairs Select Committee is when he speaks to those MPs on Tuesday. Sophie, thank you very much indeed for the latest.